Hey everybody, this is Captain X24 bringing you another part of the Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Gotta catch them all walk through. So anyway, here we are back in Goldenrod, right in front of the Name Raider's house. Let's go inside. I've been looking through your guys' suggestions, and I've decided that I'm going to name my uh, Croconon Soul Silver Jaws. I'm gonna do that right now. You can't nickname traded Pokemon, so my original plan was to nickname the Croconon I have on Heart Gold, but then I realized that can't happen. So whatever, I'll just... No. No, not jar. I'm stupid. There we go, that's better. Huh, <laughs> my bad. And, um... So I'll put up in an annotation or something whoever gave the nickname of whoever suggested that, and Cyndaquil, or rather, Quilava on, um, Heart Gold will be named Backfire. I'll put up that person's name, too. So anyway, now let's go through this route. Uh, yada yada yada. Not much to see here. And here we are for the bug catching competition. We'll want to do, um... Hold on. What does Butterfree know? Please tell me it knows. Okay, good. We're gonna have Butterfree as in first, because we can only have one Pokemon for the bug catching competition. Happens on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And, um, you catch a... Try and catch the best bug Pokemon you can. And also, you gotta be careful, because if your Pokemon, like, gets knocked out, you black out, lose some money, and, yeah, you're screwed. Um, you're rated on the rarity, level, and probably size or weight or something of the Pokemon you catch. I'm almost positive level and rarity have something to do with it. And it's definitely a good idea to have something that knows sleep powder or uh, what is it, thunder wave, anything that paralyzes, th stun spore, you know, something. Because that makes Pokemon a lot easier to catch, particularly sleep powder. I think freezing also makes them one point, or yeah, 1.5 times as easy to catch. But I don't think you can really have anything that could freeze at this point, so. For now, let's maybe see if we can get this Paris. That would be nice. I'll just, I don't know, I'll use another sleep powder on it. And a tackle. Uh, Paris is not the best thing to get here. Uh, as you should have seen in the sidebar I put up. What you really kind of want to aim for are Scyther and Pinsir. Especially since I think this is the only place you can get them before you actually beat the game. Because I'm pretty sure you can get them somewhere else after you beat the game. Don't really want to spoil that. Um, anyway, here we got Paris. Scyther and Pinsir are a 5% chance of appearing. At least they should be. And um, they can be tough to catch and they can be pretty powerful but they're also good and since you get to keep the Pokemon you catch here um, it's I mean they can be good for your team so I'm gonna go around and try and find one you can only have one Pokemon I caught a Paris in case something bad happens and like I need to retire so it's always good to have something rather than coming back with nothing at all so like I said I'll probably cut away until I find something actually good or something bad happens well, uh, there's the Let's Play Curse at its best. Right when it counts, I can't find a Scyther or a Pinsir. I got a level 12 Butterfree, so I guess that's okay. A few things I should mention. One, I think I made a mistake. I'm pretty sure Sleep actually is a two times multiplier on your chance of catching something. Two, um, you have a time limit. I think it's 15 or 20 minutes, so it's really not that big a deal. And I think there was a third thing, but I forgot. So anyway, let's retire. Coming up really close to the bug catching time limit anyway. So here we are. We will now judge the Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third is the bug catcher Benny who caught a writhing bee drill. Score was 305 points. Placing second is the ace trainer Abby who caught a wriggling venonat. Alright, so all the audio here pretty much got screwed up, but uh, it's not incredibly important. Second place was a venonat, 305 points. And third play, or first place rather, was a uh, Scyther with 328 points. I found out for sure that the, um, like what 
determines the, your score and therefore if you win or not or where you place rather is species so kind of rarity but you know species uh, level and then stats and uh, I think that's just about it so butterfree we probably got something like fourth but it doesn't really tell us anyway we got a shed shell which allows a Pokemon to switch, like a waiting Pokemon, to switch um, in battle, you know. Could be useful. I don't know. Maybe. Probably is, but whatever. I'm assuming that means it doesn't waste a turn, because otherwise we could just switch out anyway. But, um, since I don't really feel like doing anything else for the episode, I guess this is it. So if you liked it, please rate, comment, subscribe, send this to your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.